Hey guys, welcome to Dread Vault again. This is Tolga Ser. Today we will check PRS Mike Mushok signature. Yesterday I brought this guitar from Retro Yapum Studios to shoot a video with Boss HM2 pedal but after some jamming with this guitar I thought I should shoot its own video. Actually it may seem like not my thing but I'm in love with this guitar. I know it's not a King V, it hasn't got Seymour Duncan JB and 59, it has 22 frets and it's not 6 in line but the feel and the sound of this guitar is huge and ballsy and because of its baritone scale it feels like heaven in my hands. I will go into the details in the specs section in this video but first let's talk about the guitar. Also you might say PRS is not the most suitable brand for this channel but I believe this guitar will change your thoughts. Also if you want more content with PRS please don't forget to give a like to the video. If you want to watch different brands please don't forget to mention those brands in the comments. This guitar is a magnificent example of the quality standards of world musical instruments of Korea and it might not be your first choice since it's the SE line. I don't know it's student edition or special edition or something like this but the sound and the craftsmanship of this guitar is remarkable and I can say it without hesitation because this guitar has some cool and hard features like bindings around the body and the semi-transparent finish also like the neck joint or the binding around the neck actually I couldn't find any issue about details of this guitar now let's talk about the specs we have a mahogany body with maple neck and ebony fretboard also we have 22 frets also the scale of this guitar is 27.7 so we can label it as a baritone actually PRS selling it as a baritone it's not my my own labeling. PRS tuners and the PRS humbuckers they named the pickups as treble and bass pickups. Also we have a tone and volume knob and there's a three-way toggle switch. I'm not sure about the brand of the bridge as well it's probably from the PRS own production like the tuners itself and we have binding around the neck and the body. Also the body has a double cutaway with some additional work for easy access to the last frets. So I can say PRS and Mike Mushok of Strained, of the band Strained, by the way, I have nearly no information about him, but I know it's my own fault, but I think the result of their collaboration is marvelous, just marvelous. Now let me explain why I'm in love with this guitar. Actually I'm using Floyd Rose or Kehler because of my hand placement on the body and I'm not into tom bridge because I think it's higher and the edge of a tom bridge kind of cuts my hand and I'm not happy with it but the hip shot like bridge is I'm not sure about the actual name of this bridge but actually my hand is really comfy around the bridge also you might remember I sold a few of my guitars because of their 24.75 inch scales also I'm mentioning a lot why I can't use the frets below 15 in my 25.5 inch scaled guitars and this 27.7 inch scale feels like heaven also the body shape of this guitar and I think it's quite traditional for PRS it's not something new is quite bigger than a super strat or as normal strat just a strat and because of it I can hold this guitar like this without an issue so it's kind of provide everything a King V can provides me and because of all of those features I can play the whole neck while holding the guitar and placing my hand without an issue and now let's hear this beast and let me show you my lack of ability around the whole neck this time in this video I'm gonna use 14 Kelly from Neural DSP but soon you will hear the sound of this guitar through a Boss HM2 and an orange CR120 head through my Marshall cabinet. Also the tuning of the guitar is drop A sharp. You know it's like C standard with a drop string. Now let's connect this beast and hear the guitar. <laughs>
By the way, I'm using the bridge pickup right now. <laughs> Just tremendous it's just tremendous the response of the guitar the dynamics the saturation the sound it's 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 just marvelous I have nothing to say I have nothing to say and let's check the neck pickup <laughs> By the way, even while using the pinky, reaching to the last fret isn't that easy while there's an easy access, but it's kind of okay, it's kind of okay. Because probably you won't use the last fret of the last string while playing a baritone like this. <laughs> Definitely there's a difference in the body of the sound uh, between the pickups so it might be helpful for different configurations, different kind of mixes or different type with while playing with different type of amplifiers. <laughs>
actually I really amazed with the response of the lower frets is it lower or higher I think it's higher for the music terminology but it's lower because it's on the low side of the neck <laughs> you know while playing around this area of the neck most of the time getting a constant sound is an issue because it's hard to press those notes if you have kind of big hands actually and I really amazed with the stability around those section of the neck but also it might be because of the fixed bridge instead of using a Floyd Rose because I'm pressing my hand a lot while playing something fast or trying to get more aggressive sound you know i'm pivoting my hand like this around the top side of the bridge and because of it floyd rose bridges are moving time to time and because of the issues about guitars with floyd roses and the neck with shorter scale playing after 12th fret is an issue for me but i really amazed with the response of this guitar stability of this guitar it's just marvelous as i said thousand times so i think the world musical instruments factory never betrays i can easily say with this guitar or like of different LTDs or Deans. It's one of the finest examples of this factory, I believe. I think at least you should give it a go to this guitar if you are into baritone scales or guitars like this because it's not your regular dead rock PRS. It's something heavy, it's something huge, it's something ballsy. And I played this guitar before a few times and I really enjoyed every second of it. Actually, there's nothing as much to say about this guitar. This was PRS SE Mike Mushok signature. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to give a like to the video, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave your opinions in the comment section. Till the next video, see ya!